Next feature that I'd like to talk about is improved data integration integrity checks. Uh, so we have a number of new integrity checks introduced in version 40 uh, and also a new infrastructure for defining and running those integrity checks, which makes them faster, more reliable, and also easier to develop and expand. So we'll be hoping to introduce more and more integrity checks to be able to help uh, instance administrators to understand the quality of their data, um, understand where there are gaps, where there are issues with the, the data in the database, um, so that we can uh, expose that information to them and help them to fix it. Uh, and this is what it looks like, uh, similar to probably what you've seen before, but you can you can see a lot more uh, integrity checks running uh, and, and some more detail about what's going on in, in that uh, integrity check run. So this is again in the data administration application that has been around for quite some time. Uh, and we are continuing to expand on the set of integrity checks that are bundled with DHS2 in future versions, we'll be adding more as well. The next functionality that has been introduced in version 40 is job sequencing. This is quite exciting uh, for scheduled jobs or scheduled tasks in DHIS2 because you can uh, define a group of those jobs that can be run in sequence. So this means that you know that you need to finish the analytics table export before you run a notification job, for example, or something like that. Um, you can do these now in sequence. So you run job one and then you run job two and those can't run at the same time. You have to finish job one before job two begins. Uh, but then job three and job four have to run after job two, but they can be run in parallel. So this allows you to clearly define the sequence of jobs that need to be run after each other and also which ones can be run at the same time so that you can uh, you don't need to wait for job three to finish before you start running job four. Um, this is a little bit under the hood, uh, kind of a platform feature, but uh, we're really excited to see it, and it will be available in the scheduler app as a user interface uh, shortly as well, so that will be introduced in continuous delivery, but this is available as a, a core functionality of the scheduler service in DHS2 and the scheduler API uh, for version 40. Uh, 